When snow and ice cast a spell over the land, winter in Central Europe shows its loveliest face. But the white splendor also has its dark side, because in winter, many animals find hardly any food. Snow needs the cold. It starts high up in the moist air of towering clouds in icy frost. There, tiny droplets of water and motes of dust transform themselves into glistening snow crystals. These combine to form soft flakes becoming heavier on their way towards the ground. Diamond dust, it's called, when the sunlight catches the flakes and makes them sparkle. A closer look will reveal a sea of the finest crystalline shapes. Matchless jewels. Six pointed works of art, each different to the next. Gradually, the snowflakes form a thick layer that covers everything. Mice make themselves comfortable under this snow blanket. It protects them from icy temperatures and hides them from predatory eyes. Roe deer, on the other hand, are exposed to the elements, as is the fox. How is he to find his prey in the endless sea of white? Roe deer know they need not fear him. He prefers smaller victims, like mice, for instance. The trick is, to find them. The fox uses its acute sense of hearing. He can locate even the faintest sound beneath the blanket of snow. The mouse has no idea that every rustle is being attentively listened to up above. Or does it? At the slightest sound from overhead, it disappears underground, out of reach of the hungry fox. The world in winter seems a silent, isolated place. It's hard to imagine finding anything edible here, yet nature does provide sustenance for animals, even in the depths of winter. Sometimes not at first glance, Vegetarians, like the bullfinch, hardly need to adjust their diet at all in winter. There are still seeds, grains, and berries on some plants. Only now, they're deep frozen.
The great tit prefers the larvae and insect eggs it finds hidden under the bark of trees. On the banks of lakes and rivers, reeds offer both protection and food. Bearded tits are experts in harvesting its tiny seeds at high speed. Bird boxes are like a fairy tale magic wishing table. They're a popular destination for all kinds of birds seeking sorely needed calories. A cornucopia of nuts and seeds, and fresh every day. At nightfall, the chirruping ends and the songbirds return to their roosts. The owl only begins foraging at night. In winter, deer lower their body temperature and their metabolism considerably. This resting mechanism saves them energy. A special camera reveals how the animals only lose body heat in very few places, mainly from their heads. The rest is protected by their dense fur. The owl's plumage also provides perfect insulation. Certainly better than the mouse's coat. Apart from eyes and beak, no body heat escapes at all. The rest is the same temperature as the air. The fox has been foraging all night. He's still driven by hunger. His winter coat might be thick and warm, but he can only survive if he finds enough to eat. He needs 20 mice a day to still his hunger. But where to find them? Hunting uses up strength, and each failed attempt makes him even hungrier. Brer Fox has it tough in winter. He shares his habitat with roe deer, who have devised their own strategy for getting through winter. The thicker the blanket of snow, the more difficult the search for food. To survive on their sparse diet, they scale back all movement to a minimum. Towards the end of winter, this energy saving can mean the difference between life and death. The fox isn't giving up. Will he succeed this time? At last, a fat catch.
On cloudy days, the snow seems to absorb all the colors in the landscape. This is winter too, a grey-white world. A time when sunlight is rare and precious. During lengthy cold periods, the animal world often seems to have vanished completely. It's almost as if nature is in a deep sleep. And then the sun returns. And the world glistens with snow and ice. But the longed-for sunshine has its downside, too. When the surface of the snow begins to melt, it can have unexpected consequences. Melting ice crystals can have a treacherous effect on frozen Earth. The white snow blanket turns into a shimmering, hard sheet of ice. The animals have to adjust to this, especially the fox. The snow is now so hard that his soft paws don't even leave tracks. Not the best conditions for hunting mice. He can hardly penetrate the ice. This hunt ends with a rather bruised nose. The lucky ones have alternate sources of food. Pine and spruce cones are popular with many animals. Their scales conceal nourishing seeds. Squirrels literally take the cones apart. It's a painstaking business. All that effort for such tiny seeds. But when food is in short supply, even pine cones become the object of hot dispute. Deer only ramp up their much reduced metabolic rate when they need to forage for food. Good quality food is hard to find. They mostly have to make do with bark and lichen. It's meager fare, but it sees the healthier animals through the winter.
winter is a season of contrasts. Harsh, yet beautiful. This fairy tale world of snow and ice is a great challenge for the animals every day. Most of them cope with the food scarcity and cold surprisingly well. Each in its own way. Winter has a multitude of facets and all of them worth a closer look.